Hi everybody, welcome to part 3 of my presentation. Today we're going to be talking about al algorithmic and heuristic methods of solving problems. First up in the situation of being at home, an, al an algorithmic way would probably be finding the manual to something and figuring out what's wrong by reading through it. Or you could go the heuristic way and work backwards, possibly by figuring out if you plugged it in or not. Make sure you plug in your electronics before you go ahead and call in the repairman, okay? Next, at work. Now I work at an airport, so we have an, al an algorithmic way of doing things such as checking in people using the programs that's been given to us. Other times, we go ahead and have a heuristic way, which is what I mainly do for my job. And that's, well, packing bags. And trust me, if I can't make it fit, I'll find a way to make it fit. And I always do. <laughs> Lastly, we have an academic setting for algorithmic setting for algorithmic and heuristic ways of doing things. On the left, we have La Lima, our wonderful website that's been provided by the school to help us with our homework and seeing upcoming events. Although, most of the time, we tend to go the route of looking to our classmates and asking them what's going on. Though, most of the time, I bet you the answer will come out like this. And please, whatever you do, don't ask me because I promise you, I don't know what I'm doing either. So, just hang in there and let's try to work through this. Alright, well, apart from that, that's the end of the video. Thanks for watching, you guys. If you like my presentations, go ahead and like my videos. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching, everybody. See you next time.